get the get, get this back on and there and turn that off very good all right uh, okay 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 so here's the main thing i have turned the game down to the absolute lowest settings i can get with everything else hopefully the game runs and doesn't give us encoding overloads in fact i think Give me a second and I'll take a look here at our performance. Uh, oh, well, that's kind of funny. I think I might have turned it down a little too much. Uh, at this setting, I could probably <coughs> die for, from, for some reason. So yeah, as you can see, everything, everything off. Let's try turning sharpening back on. As long as we keep it here under 70%, it should, should run, hopefully. There has not been any sort of performance patches, so yeah. Putting it up to 60, or bleh, putting that sharpness thing on, uh, that jumped the usage by t uh, an extra 10%. The game looks awful like this, to be honest. Maybe if I... Okay, if we turn it up to there. I mostly just want to get rid of the jittery. Like the jittery light nonsense happening there. Okay, that... That boosted it up to 80% usage, which is too much. Uh, okay. So that needs to be off. What can we do here? What if we turn sharpening off? Damn the whistling of my face. What? And turn that up. How does that look? Still a bit goofy. How's it running? 60%. Okay, so both of those things being on at the same time are a bit too much for it because we need to keep it below 70% ish. What if I turn that on? How does that do? One second. First bot of the night. Banned. Also, Oprah Oprah. What a fucking name to give to a bot. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways. We do that. How does it look? Okay, this is bouncing somewhere between like 50 to 65-ish. Ah, ah, ha. that, that is me. It looks so wrong like this. Okay, let's toy around with a little bit more. Shadow quality, shaders, effect quality. Turn that to medium. Ambient inclusion in performing. Okay. Calculating reflection reflections. That's the thing that's probably causing the weird light, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that got rid of the weird, like, jittery light all over the place. Uh, uh, that did not really increase usage at all. Good to know. Oh yeah, I came through here and murdered a bunch of stuff the other time I was playing, yeah. Okay, so all of that being on. Why is this not broke? Oh, that's why.
Uh, I think some sort of frame drop. What is with that weirdness? Okay, 75. Like I said, as long as we can kind of keep it below 80 in most areas, I think it'll be fine-ish. This is the kind of thing that I can only test on stream because I don't know the exact usage amount of, say, OBS. Lens flare. I hate lens flare. I wish I could turn it off. Translucent objects and several. Shader. Quality. Resolution scale. Just kind of looking at stuff here. I put that there. Okay, I can mess around with this. Huh. Wait, but if that's low settings... This game runs weird. So that's low? Yeah. It's weird. It. I guess it really is what I thought it was. Some sort of like odd issue. But yeah, putting it on low presets at the start doesn't have a problem. It's barely running like 60 is percent. Make sure it's dead. You bleeding? Okay. Yeah, I guess there's just kind of a time limit for how long I can stream this game because it just seems to eventually has problem. What is the difference here, though? Like, huh? No sharpness. Motion blur off. Huh. Well, if it starts encoding overloading, I'll just start turning that stuff down a little bit. But yeah, I have basically no idea beyond it just has some sort of weird memory usage. Except it's not the, like, memory, it's, uh, the GPU memory. Like, not the RAM, but the GPU itself that it seems to be, like, not clearing properly. But I wouldn't trust my word on that, because, uh, I'm stupid. That's two misses. Okay, so that's a three swing, got it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on the usage. And if it starts going too high, just turn down stuff manually. Though I'm gonna have to say, I'm not entirely certain what I can even do about it. It seems almost random how it chooses to do that. But oh well. Is that a legs over there? That's probably an O legs, isn't it? No. Nope. 
But yeah, watching it now, it jumps from like in the 50s to up into the 70s, and I can't figure out exactly what it is that's causing it. The mod is definitely helping to make it like run smoother, but. Like, smoother and better. Is somebody outside talking? What the hell? No? What the hell is that I heard? Where am I? Alright, we still got all of this place to go through. Okay. But yeah, if the game starts acting up, I'm just going to assume it's whatever the problem has been, and... Maybe switch to a different game. I'm not exactly sure how long this game is, but I think we might be somewhere like halfway through it. That's the case. It's way longer than I was expecting. A lot of insect. They really are trying to make more use of those. It'll be funny if out of everything that happens with the Silent Hill remake attempt nonsense that Konami's doing, if this is the only good game that comes out of it. Because, like, I have heard literally nothing about F, like Silent Hill F and the other thing that has come out was such a fucking hilarious failure that I think people in who like Silent Hill will be mocking it for a really long time also I am going to turn this game down again because it's gotten louder somehow what the fuck I I'm half wondering if the audio is resetting at some point somehow. It's weird. By the way, where was all that rain we had come across? The hell was all that about? Another nurse. hear more in here maybe bug maybe spitters probably both yeah i just don't want to deal with you die But yeah, I've heard more people say that things get back up, and I'm just like, uh, how? I have yet to see an enemy actually get back up that I didn't stomp on. Where is it? I wonder if they've made the Abstract Daddy a straight up boss yeah no it, it looks like the audio that i'm setting is literally doing nothing anyways if they've made the abstract daddy its own like straight boss fight that is still stupid loud okay is it actually just ignoring my uh telling it to change the audio I'm gonna reduce that by maybe half on the actual computer. See if that actually does anything. 
Yeah, that seems more right. I've been fighting with that every stream, by the way, and it's just been annoying me now, especially. That's just another way back, maybe? Huh. Okay. Just keep trying to make our way forward. Had coffee before stream. I'm hoping it's enough. Today's been a bit of a massive annoyance. Nice swing, James. What? Oh. Yeah, turning it down by half seems to have done next to nothing, according to OBS, which is curious. Hmm. Maybe it's OBS that's the problem, then. can't read that. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Oh, well, thank you, town. Very encouraging words. Oh, hey, a map. Is that the old map? I think it is. Huh. The game now sounds way too quiet for me, even though, di like, not Discord, fucking OBS shows like it's still stupid loud in spots. Okay. I'd really like to at least complete one playthrough on stream. I'm just really concerned that it's not going to let me on some level. That is not fully loaded. There we go. I'm not sure it being like longer than the original is a good thing, but we'll see. God damn, leave me alone, bugs. Like, Jesus. There is it. actually startled the shit out of me. Jeez. Got tricked by the ammo sitting there. The fuck? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I just run away. Okay. Where is it? It's under the vehicle. Show yourself. There it is. I thought something was in there. I actually have no reason to have believed something was in there, but I thought something was.
Oh, you. Ugh. Where does this go? Ah, okay. There's a phone ringing. I hear a phone. Oh, we actually got the right window that time. Very nice. Huh. Also, your flashlight apparently does cause enemies to be more aggressive. The only thing I have to say to that is, how the fuck else am I going to see, though? Hi, Lynx. Ah, oh, damn it. That one first. Then this one. That one isn't bleeding. There we go. Yeah, that's dead. Oh. Okay. Hey, yeah, I hear you ringing. You're going through a lot of bullets out here, though. Now, what's going to happen here? Now that's very quiet. Okay. Ah, oh, the audio balancing in this is very strange. Anyone there? Also flashing light warning, I guess. Jesus, gay. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. You should know. The key is in the park, at the feet of the praying woman. The wrench will open the gate. The key will let loose the abyss. Ramch. Okay, then. Damn, nothing. Damn, nothing. What is that? Oh. That's what that noise was. Okay, well, I suppose... Off this direction, then. Oh, hey, all the windows are still broken. <laughs> I guess the town doesn't have a repair man. Bing. Bong. Ah. Uh. Nice. I have no idea what that is. Can't get in there, then, I take it. Yeah, no. I... What is that even say? Big Jaws? Big Jaws. Okay. 
Oh, big J's. Okay. That makes more sense. Let me guess. There's legs in here somewhere. Behind the counter. Not that I'd be able to see that anyways. No. Very well, then. I see that health drink there. No, oh, that's not openable. Where was the rainy place that was giving us so much trouble the other time? That's odd. Nothing. Oh, hey. <laughs> you can see the letters through the light. <laughs> because of the shadow it cast. It... Anything? There's a photo in there. I can see it. They're here. <laughs> Up zero. Or ten. I guess. It really is impossible to tell. If somebody writes their ones like that, they need their head examined. Because I don't think they quite understand the difference between a wand and an up arrow. Merk. Anyways. And let's see here. Uh, it's this direction? I mean, I can go see if there's anything down Grove Street, or whatever it's called. All you had to do was follow the train, CJ. I never played that game. Yeah, no, you can't even go down there. Boo. Boo. Ground sure is wet around here. It's like it rained or something recently. Nothing. Aw. Nothing. Ooh, something. Shotgun shell. Of course, it's behind the one not smashed window. <laughs> ah, damn it. Air International? I hate internationalism. Die. Yay, drugs. Groovy music. Maybe there's something there. Huh. I see that writing on the wall. I genuinely have no idea where we were experiencing issues. I think I might not even be remembering the right day as the other day we were playing. Window! Yay! Can we not go into the groove move? Sick? What is it called again? Groovy? The I Love Groovy Music Store. Okay. Oop. Shotgun shells. Undestroyed windows. Ow. Oh. All right. The door that wakes in darkness opens into opening into nightmares. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I am pretty sure nothing good. Oh. 
Oh well. Right. So this is the door to darkness, right? Kingdom Hearts is a light! <laughs> uh, thanks, Brain. Hello, spooky demons of my own imagining. Damn. It's dark in here. Oh, oh, I know what's coming. Oh, we cannot shoot that through the gate. Ow! Ah. Well, since I have no idea how to fight that, since, you know, bullets don't go through fucking holes in the ground. Okay, they might. Oh, I see. Could you just die? Okay, I don't like fighting these things. Goodbye, creature. I don't like using that much ammo on one thing and it not being dead. All right. Well, I hope we never have to face one of those again. Aha! I sure do hope we're no longer in the door to darkness. Hey, did we return to the normal world? I think we might have. Oh. Well then. That's good. Hmm. I really didn't get a good look around here last time. Oh, yeah. Head the statue boy. I'm still not entirely certain what these are for, but eh, it's this. Oh, I think we did find that. There's something distinctly strange about imagining Chinese food in Silent Hill, purely because it's just like such a mundane object in a place that never really like signifies anything other than itself. Signifies, signalizes. Some word that I'm trying to remember, but don't. Bridge. Uh. 
Angela. Hey. Are you... Are you feeling better? This place is different from what I remember. I guess things never really stay the same, do they? Well, I guess not. I don't... I don't think she's here anymore, James. Who? My mama. She doesn't... She doesn't want to see me anymore. Why would you think that? Anyway, I'm happy to see you. Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Oh, yeah. I better get going. You still don't want me to go with you? If we stick together, we might just make it out of here. Out of where? This town. Silent Hill. No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh... You didn't happen to see the little girl around here, did you? The little girl? Yeah, I... Angela? Are you all right? No. Please. You shouldn't be here. Angela, it's okay. No, don't touch me! That's an interesting scene. That's added. That was not in the originals. I'm trying to decide what I think of it. The implication that she saw something that James couldn't. Like that being outright what was there. It's very clear that she... is definitely not alright is the word. My patient buried it here, I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth, I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the old society was sealed. No one dares to approach that place, now I offer you the key. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. It's 
So yeah. There is definitely implications. Like, all three people see stuff in the town that the others don't. But with her, very specifically, it's hard to tell. I can't remember the specifics. But I do remember some of the first game in which she states that she sees fire everywhere. There's a certain implication that she might be possibly, like, suffering from some form of psychosis illness, perhaps. I'm not entirely certain if that's the case or not. But with manifestations, what somebody sees is not necessarily something that isn't there. All manifestations appear, but what somebody sees will be different. The bodies in the uh, near Eddie not being James, for instance. Even though, like, James doesn't see somebody within them. Eddie does. But James himself doesn't like to see anything that clear, and it's not the bodies for him. There's a better example, but that comes along later. So I wonder if that scene was added to help imply that she might be, like, schizophrenic or something. I can take some guesses at to what she was saying. Run away, little can. Run away. Those cans just are the strangest part of the game. I need to consider after this if I can, uh, if I want to finish Silent Hill 1 on stream. Can't see shit. Nothing in there. I probably should. That's still not probably a cup, uh, but like a couple of streams from now, anyways. If I want to do that, uh, I should explain why uh, I've been taking several days off. It's the same reason that I stated at the beginning of the month. I have to like neurotically clean this place to be able to sleep at night because uh, the inspections happen this month at the end of the month. So occasionally I just get up and clean bit by bit. So far the apartment is looking way better but it's still, you know, never enough. Nothing is ever really ever enough, but as long as I can, like, clean enough extra, it should not be a problem for my brain, at least enough to allow me to sleep. Not sure if that's too much information. Eh, whatever. I still need to do some of the rooms, like, baseboards, though. Especially, uh, what could I do after stream? Probably the bedrooms. Bedroom is probably the cleanest room in the house. For what I hope is obvious reasons. 
I can't stand the thought of closing my eyes in a room that isn't clean. There we go. Uh, we will be heading to the historical society, in which case I'm hoping there's stuff there that I can point out and talk about. Partially to get me off the topic. Any supplies around here? Eh. I don't remember to look at truck tires in the back of them. Because they have put supplies in those before. <laughs> We never did find out what that one thing was for. Oh well. Wheels on the bus don't go anywhere. Those are flat as fuck. Flat as fuck. Are they? I'm not sure. Looks kind of flat to me. Probably hasn't moved in decades, so probably. Decades? Decades. Everything in this place hasn't moved in decades. Look at it. That's kind of wild. Gary, Indiana. No, I don't know why I'm bringing it up. I wonder how well I've done about finding everything. Because those paintings are... Kinda. The paintings, pictures, are kind of a collectible. You did not even give any care to what you were taking there. You just saw interact button and did that. Yep. You might need help. I don't need help. You get help anyways. Yeah, but that's because I need that help. Not whatever help my brain is trying to convince me of now. Shh. Hey, Lynx, look. It's the exact same shopping cart. As was in the building. Way back when. So yeah, it was a normal shopping cart. Winks might not even be present to hear that. <laughs> Some things aren't getting marked off like they should be. What have we got here? Bolarama? Are you going to get to see Eddie eating a pizza? Get the famous pizza lines? Probably not. We probably get an indication that it existed, though. Eddie. It is the bowling alley, though. Huh. Is there a pizza box in here somewhere? Oh my god, there's even the pizza box. Ugh. This town's full of monsters. Who could just sit here and eat pizza? <laughs> okay, they did reference that scene. Huh. I still say that should have been the actual scene still, though. That was an achievement, by the way. Oh, at least they actually added this area still. How can you just sit there and eat pizza? Huh, whatever. <laughs> I 
Lynx might have the phone and just be like, Neh. at me in a like, couple of minutes. All right, to the historical society. I was kind of hoping uh, the one backrooms game would get an update for Halloween, but it's still just kind of sitting there quiet. It has been for quite a while. I only thought about it because, like, I remembered like the cornfield area, which was still a ridiculous fucking thing. But hey, Are we there yet? Oh no, are we stupid? Eh. Car. Smash. 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 Someone's gonna make a mod and replace those with, like, something. I don't know what. Mayberg Mayber Gamer Soups. Blur, 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 blur. Anyways. It's the Silent Hill Historical Society. Let's go historize ourselves with some historicalness. Garage lever. Why did I need this? I take that for some reason. <laughs> Could we go down that other road? Why do I just think about this when we're finally to the location? Can I turn up the brightness? Because holy shit, I cannot see anything. <laughs> the high contrast is funny. No, we cannot turn that up. Okay. Ah, Suka. Ichimi san yan go roku nana. And from there, I can't actually remember. Guess that's something else I'll have to go over with myself. Can we actually make it all the way down here? Huh. What's this? A door? Another one of those spots. Very interesting. Is that all that was there? It is kind of curious. It's not marking off stuff on the map like it should be. I guess we did get an old memory. I've been here before. Wait a minute, I've been here before. Oh. That's where I got the Jack at. Yeah, mate, you don't know Jack. What the hell was that, me? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. need to get comfortable in the chair. It is still like 85 degrees outside, by the way. I don't know where this heat come from, but it can go right back to wherever it was and like fuck itself, you know? Like, everything is loaded. Okay. I'm terrified of going anywhere in bushes like this because I just imagine every single one of them is like a tenement like apartment complex for spiders. Oh hey look, a map of Silent Hill. Oh hey look, a map of Silent Hill. Come on. Nothing. 
Okay, welcome to the Historical Society. A place I hope I can actually talk about a couple of things in. First, check every door possible. Yep. Okay, so immediately... It's time to talk about some lore. It's him. Misty Day, Remnants of Judgment. This is what inspired in James's head the creationist pyramid head. As you can see, there's even like one of the uh, other things that inspired one of the monsters there. Now, to explain what this is, in Silent Hill's history, there was actually executioners. And the executioners wore big red hoods like that. But because that's not entirely clear in the photo, in James's mind, it became a pyramid shape metal thing. And Pyramid Head was created from this image in James's mind because he remembers this photo somewhat, or this painting somewhat, from whenever he was here with Mary. That's the in-lore explanation between uh, behind that boss and Pyramid Head. In fact, I think there might be a couple of things here. Waterfront landscape, Alan Smith. Depiction of the local area. The style indicates it was done sometime around the 1820s when the region was far less populated with sparse infrastructure. Title unknown, author unknown. Wiltsea Coal Mine established around 1850. The remnant... It remained operational until the early 1900s. The mines played a key role in the revitalization of Silent Hill. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. The hospital was built in response to the Great Plague that followed a wave of immigrants in, uh, to the area. Originally, it was little more than a shack, but has since expanded into the fully-fledged medical establishment. Name scratched over illegible former director of Brookhaven Hospital. Okay, yep. We're about to hit somewhere interesting. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's the hole. So, yeah. I wonder if that's actually still in the game, but yeah. There's a pit hole thing. Among the local legends is that the Lady of the Light is that of the Lady of the Light. The story tells of a woman who was accused and found guilty of witchcraft. As punishment, she was taken to a small island out on the lake, a minuscule... Oh, is this this entire story that um Mary gave? Okay. However, unbeknownst to the rest of the townsfolk, yeah, every night the woman would stand there. But then, one night, when the sky was exceptionally clear, devoid of even a wisp of cloud, the young man set out on his nightly escapade. As always, he would look out into the distance, looking for the light and the darkness that would lead him to his beloved. On that night, however, the moon shone so bright and so vibrantly strong or so vibrant stronger than any candle could seeing the light's reflection in the water the young man was led astray he rode and rode and rode following the reflected light hoping against hope he could reach it he did not care for his aching arms or the shortness of his breath utterly mesmerized by the, the illusory light 
When his boat tipped over, the young uh, the man was exhausted from rowing, so weakened were his arms that he was unable to swim to shore. Thus he succumbed, uh, succumbed to a watery grave. Although left alone, the woman on the island never lost hope. She kept coming out at night and kept lighting the candle. The legend says that those looking for true love can still see the lady's light out on the lake, shining to bring her beloved home. While the story is clearly meant as a metaphor and a cautionary tale, it is, to a certain extent, rooted in reality, as the area has indeed seen its share of religious persecution, such as that of, and then it cuts off, didn't Maria say that it was a storm that prevented him from seeing the light? I wonder if there's metaphoric meaning to that, if I'm remembering correctly. Silent Hill Historical Society Founders. Oh, I can break these. Okay. I'm fairly certain the story she told us is not the story that was there. Like, she changed something about it, but I can't remember because it's been like a week. But I'm pretty sure she said that it was a storm that prevented him from seeing the light, not the moonlight. Alright, here we go. Metaphoric descent. Made literal. Hello. How goes it? Huh. Oh, good God, I don't like looking upstairs like that. Doing good, that's good. So yeah, we're making our way down to, I believe, the prison is the next area we end up in. Uh, right now the game's running okay. We'll see how things go in the next couple of hours because I think... I think very vaguely that one of the problems is, is that Possibly it's not removing stuff out of GPU memory correctly. But we'll see. Otherwise, I've really been enjoying this game. Really making this an extra long one, huh? Okay, that is not a breakable wall. Ah, uh, there we go. I was starting to wonder. Reach the end of the long staircase into the abyss. Ugh. Yep. We've hit the prison level. We have 22 of those. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number C221. What's this say, if anything? Inmates, general population, total, employee, something, actual. Okay. Okay, so this place is incredibly metaphorical, by the way. Ah! 
I can't seem to get any of the audio options to properly work, though. You like claustrophobia. Crimson and white, banquet of the gods. Ah, death by skewering, an execution at the prison, death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. The lying figures, by the way. Take note of that. Toluca Prison Camp. Built in 1862, the camp was used to house prisoners during the American Civil War. Converted into Toluca Prison in 1866. So since this is still part of the Historical Society, another creature inspiring in his mind from whenever he originally was in the town with Mary... But they still actually have significant metaphoric meaning to James himself. Noting the name like Lying Figure. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's here. Let's have a look around first. By the way, the entire metaphoric meaning of the prison being a slow descent down further and further in a place of punishment. Yeah. Should be a pretty easy to understand metaphor there. Uh, only one way to go, and it's further down. Oh, it's actually going to force us to hit the button, huh? <laughs> uh, you're doing this to us again, huh? Welcome to the whale. Oh, did they add multiple holes here? Oh, they did. <laughs> that one's empty. Okay. I see how they're doing this. There's only one real one, huh? So in the original, what you would have to do is you'd have to swing at the wall until you found the right spot. But because this one actually has the mechanic for this, you know. I was stuck on this part in the original for quite a while. Yeah, a lot of people were. I don't know how long I was stuck at it. But uh, at some point, I knew I just started swinging at the wall. Because I wasn't entirely sure. And I was certain I wasn't soft locked at that point. Just randomly hit the wall until it makes a different sound and keep hitting. Yeah. Oh. One of you. Let's 
bleeding now? Yeah, okay. Uh, I saw a bit of loading lag there. Even with a mod to fix up some of the performance, it's still a bit off. Uh... I wonder, are the ghosts of the inmates still a thing in this one? It says something there. Ow. Uh, this puzzle. I... What was the actual solution to this one again? I don't remember. What do I think of the remake so far? I think it is way better than it had any right to be. Like, I had no faith this would be good, but I am surprised and fairly, like, happy about it. Uh... God, I don't actually remember this one. Did it have something to do with the key? Thought that I think they'd actually have, like, the exact same thing? Yeah, no, nothing to that. Okay. Some of the models definitely need fixing, notably. This puzzle is the worst. Probably is still, yeah. I remember it being a pain in the ass in the original. I just don't remember how you solve it in any way. The worst part is it keeps summoning these bugs in on me, which is really annoying. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it was the clean ones. All right. Uh, we don't have a map in here. You still alive? Nope, you're still dead. I'm very curious, is uh, the can of light bulbs going to still be a thing? That's not a question to be answered. It's just me pondering. But yeah, they have done a really good job with this. I think there's only one thing that I found, like, not great outside of the models in particular. That <laughs> part blew my mind in the original. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, I have trouble navigating, so... Oh yeah, this way. And that's the room we just got out of? Yep, okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah. God. Uh, there's only one thing that I think outside of the models that is not a good change. And that was the, uh, scene they added slash changed from being a bullying alley to the theater. The only thing I dislike about that scene is Eddie sitting there licking, um, ice cream off of his hands. I do not like that change. I think that makes him too weirder. And, like, a little too threatening in a, a certain way too early. Mm. 
Like, if it was him in the theater just still eating a pizza, that would have been fine. But licking ice cream off of his hands, I think, was too much of a change. I think the cutscene is this game... I think the cutscenes in this game are weaker, especially the pyramid head in the apartment. Yeah, that one, they definitely toned it down and his movements are a little too ridiculous. I will, like, say that. The one thing I do like is, like, it's way clearer that shooting him didn't work. The original, it was a bit hard to tell what was happening whenever James shot him, but that cutscene is weaker than the original. It's not too much worse. I honestly expected them to remove it just because, like, modern audience nonsense. Like, to be very clear, I think Blooper Team is probably one of the worst developers they could have chosen on the outset of it, but they've done a surprisingly good job. Hey, look, someone other than James. No deal. Just put the gun to their head and pow. Eddie? Oh. Uh. Hi, James. What happened here? Who was that? I don't know. It just came at me. Okay. So he attacked you, and you shot him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down, Eddie. Any idea why he would do that? I don't know. He came out of nowhere. He tried sneaking up on me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back, and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Well, yeah, I mean... The way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He looked at you? I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it in his eyes. His eyes? He kept looking at me, making fun of me. I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Eddie, you can't... You can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. <laughs> you should see your face, James. I was just joking. The guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> well, anyway, I better get going. Wait. You're gonna go out there alone? Yeah. Yeah, I think Eddie's changes are probably the worst in the game. And I'm not entirely certain why. They added a bit too much to that cutscene, I think. Same body, please. Somebody please kick his fat ass. <laughs> but yeah, he, they overdid Eddie, I think. Eddie used to look like a normal fat guy, now he looks like a deep sea monster. Yeah. It's strange that he got the worst treatment. I don't know why, but yeah, Eddie got the worst treatment. Everything else has been fairly decent. Nothing major to complain about. 
Very strange. Couldn't I just, you know... Uh. Are the hills staying silent, too? Uh... The hills have, in fact, gotten eyes or something. They still haven't found him. Since he had the cabinet key, we should assume one of the prisoners got his hands on it. Get the spare from the witness checkpoint and secure the rifle before it falls into the wrong hands. James Silent the <laughs> Second. There we go. But yeah, some scenes aren't so great. Everything with Eddie is kind of not as good or just straight up worse. And uh, the female models need fixing. I don't want to be mean or anything, but, uh, who boy, it's a problem when Superman in the animated series had a more feminine face than Maria does sometimes. The name Sunderland, James Sunderland, James Silent Hill 2 Sunderland. <laughs> James Space Marine. Oh wow, a painting that I can barely see. <laughs> I can s Okay, game. This is worse to see than just doing this. <laughs> uh. Alright, what do we got here? It's you, James. <laughs> You're the Silent Hill all the all along. <laughs> the female models won't change because it's uh, were they involved in any way with this? Because it's really hard to imagine they were. Were they? God damn it, I forgot. I forgot it was that kind. Eh. 100%. Huh. Then how the hell did the nurse models get away with what they were? How the hell does this get away with this? I don't think it was Sweet Baby specifically, but there was a consultancy agency like them on board. Ah. Uh, I heard it was only just for the Angela plot, but the whole daddy, I think. Uh, we'll do... We'll see what happens whenever we get to that point. That's something we'll probably get to today. Hopefully, if the game stays uh, running okay. The prisoners do not feel remorse. In fact, they do not feel themselves to be sinful at all. Even the simplest of them will try to shield themselves from the Lord's gaze with what little words they know. And so they dream blissfully, the sinners that they are. For no matter how foul and loathsome one existence may be, human nature abides. Okay then. Pencil! Oh, syringe? <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. Finish the game if someone didn't tell me they hired a consulting agency, I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, there's a lot in this game that most consultancy agencies would not let fly. I was wrong. It was sweet, baby. That's weird. I wonder if Konami just kept telling them to shut up then. They have no power. Yeah, you would think that. Uh, 
I have heard what they say. It does not sound like they don't have power. It sounds like they're a mafia group. Incognito since they're high profile right now. That's also possible. Although they've recently gotten in trouble again because of that one lady actively putting her big fat mouth open and then inserting shoe. But hey. Oh, I do not like the fact that it climbs. Oh God, I do not like that. They are a mafia group. Yeah, more or less. Oh, I do not like that at all. Get your leggy spidery ass down here and take your bullets. Oh, oh for the love of God, please stop making whatever noise you're making up there. Yeah. What was it? If you can't get them to do what you won't, threaten them in so many words. But oh guys, we're not the ones that are a problem. It's the mean bigoted gamers who are the problem. They're trying to harass us despite the fact that we, you know, started a harassment campaign for somebody literally just saying we were part of games. Gee. What do you mean you don't want us to ruin your game? Ugh, <laughs> oh, God. That entire thing pisses me off because it's so fucking blatant that they're lying. All right, spider fuck, where are you? Uh. It's somewhere up there and I don't like it. This cell is to be cleaned by Tuesday. Make sure you get them. You get the cons to do it by them by then. The previous tenant has been moved to death row as per the warden's order. Why do I have to keep turning on the light? What kind of sociopath? Wait, that might be a timer. It is a timer. Shut up, me. Not what I meant. Where is it? Just die. I hate the noises you make. But yeah, it's just, uh, God. Oh, you can still open that. Where the hell did the legs go? But yeah, it's hard to imagine that a consultancy agency of that sort was in this game because you can look up the nurse monster skirts. You really shouldn't tell people that. You shouldn't admit to knowing that. Why? It's true though. I hate doors. Doors keep me out of places that people don't want me to be in. Why am I opening all the doors? Why are you opening all the doors? What am I doing? <laughs> I think I should have asked that before now, but what am I doing? Why can I turn on the lights? I have a lot of questions and very few answers. By the way, by the way, dear chat, 
Have you heard that they might be reviving Concord? No, I don't know why they would do that either. <laughs> but they might be. I don't know what is up with Sony of late, but I don't think they're okay. Are you... moving? Damn, I guess, yeah, I didn't stomp on it, so it's moving at... Miss, 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 miss. They were never okay, yeah. Yeah. They helped kill Michael Jackson, so. That's an accusation. Okay, uh, allegedly they helped kill Michael Jackson and helped uh, paint him as a bad thing that he actually wasn't. Allegedly. until they became Californiaized. God, them moving to California has been such a... just indicator of their downfall. What I don't understand, by the by, why the hell does Square Enix at all continue giving them anything? Why does Square Enix listen to them on any level for anything? <laughs> Final Fantasy 16 undersold at launch because for some reason Square Enix went, yeah, we'll make it a, a, an exclusive for a while to a console literally nobody owns. What am I doing? Eyeless boar. Yard. Okay. Sony killing Helldivers 2 was really funny. Yeah. I. That's another one of those things where it's like, why are you doing this on any level? What did you think you were actually going to get out of it? They thought people would just accept that is how many countries was it that now don't have access to it or at the time couldn't get access i hear that there's still a bunch of companies uh, or countries that can't still though ban a bunch of yeah that is an incredibly stupid decision good old steam though Allowing people who are in those countries or anywhere actually to get refunds for that game. God, the world's going to become very dark when Gabe Newell dies eventually. I wonder what that Hebrew text says. But yeah, there are just so many, like, companies that are actively, like, shooting themselves in the foot until they don't have one anymore. And all I have to say in that regard is, God, a video game crash would probably be good for the industry. <laughs> Which is insane to say, but... Why do I feel like we're gonna have a boss fight in here now? Because they've moved bosses around. I will say there are some places where it's ridiculous.